So if you've uh, heard one of my presentations, or you've been one of the fortunate uh, uh, hundreds of thousands that have heard me speak before, um, you would hear me reference uh, with deference and respect to the Clue Train Manifesto that said markets are conversations. And the slide that I always use to depict markets are conversations is the life of Brian, the scene. You're supposed to haggle. The fact that, that in the ancient bazaars and markets of yesteryear, there was life, there was passion, there was emotion, there were the five senses. You could touch the food, you could taste the food, you could touch the merchandise, you could see the, the sword swallowers and the fire breathers and the jugglers, you could hear all the beautiful music and the snake charmers and, and you heard people shouting and screaming and laughing and crying and, and, and waving their hands and ultimately what you were seeing was life. Ultimately what you were seeing was that people were excited to buy and sell stuff. There was life in commerce. There was social in commerce. Well guess what? We are hearing that phrase again, social commerce. Forget about social media, forget about social media marketing. Social commerce is an interesting phrase and it's something you should be thinking about as well. How do we get people to care again? How do we get people to feel again? How do we get people, not only the ones buying but the people selling, to have life and to be engaged in the process, that the actual transaction is almost as meaningful and engaging as the consumption of the product that comes from that transaction. But today there is no life on websites and there's no life in the malls. They're so clean and pristine. You could eat off the floors. You know, everything is focused on, on sterility, you know, on clinical delivery, on efficiency, on just-in-time dropping. When in actual fact, what we want is the, ironically, we want the Walmart greeter. We want somebody to smile at us and make eye contact with us and say, how are you doing, sir? Or maybe even to remember us, Mr. Jaffe, so good to see you again. How much time do you have today? How can I help you? Are you back for that thing again? That's what we want to see again. So who knows whether this social commerce idea is going to actually deliver that or if it will in fact be a false prophet. Who knows? But, but, in Facebook, with the ubiquitous distribution and dissemination of like buttons, the Levi's Facebook uh, store right now where you can like products, where you can see other friends like yours that have liked the same products, where you can see your friends' birthdays and now determine if they like a product that you happen to be viewing as well, maybe you might want to think about purchasing it for them. It's still, let me just be very clear, tip of the iceberg, the earliest of earlies right now, very superficial, very, very static, but I think it's going to change very quickly. And just like Starbucks, you know, with respect to their Foursquare promotion that I spoke about in an earlier Jaffe Juice TV, you've got to take your hat off to Levi's. You've got to commend them, because let me tell you, they're being used in every single presentation right now. They were so quick to market, to change the market, that they again are going to be respected and I think appreciated for doing so. Well, let's see what happens. I'm not quite sure I want somebody to know if I'm shopping for a larger size 501 pair of jeans because I've been putting on weight or whatever the case may be, but maybe I'll be wrong, maybe you'll be wrong, and maybe we'll be hanging out together on the Levi's Facebook store uh, very, very soon. At Jaffe Juice on Twitter, jaffe at powered.com. Let's put the social back into commerce. How about that? It's time to flip the funnel. Now, pick up a copy of my new book, available wherever books are sold.